So how do we start this? I don't know. I guess we just start talking. Life is a winding road. Hey guys, it's me, Yami, the Latina next door. Welcome back. It has been a while since I have posted on here and I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why. So I guess uh, we have to address why it's took so long. Um, me and Yami are... Shut up! The reason we hadn't been on here in a while is... <laughs> this big boy right here. And right there. All right. Those two. So, yeah, we recently got two puppies and training them has been a little bit uh, of a struggle, actually. And I'm sure some of you recall last year we did share that we had another puppy. And um, unfortunately, um, our poor puppy, he passed away very tragically last year. And I share details on that um, on Instagram, kind of like in real time and what had happened and everything that happened afterwards. And it was actually a very difficult time for us because um, I was pregnant and it really affected us, um, affected me greatly. And I still haven't been able to really talk about it. Um, and it wasn't until recently that we were kind of ready to move forward and move on and get your get ourselves um uh, another one and we ended up finding um two different litters from two different um like individuals that were like two days apart that they were born two days apart and they happened to both be um pit bulls so one's a little bit more of an american pit bull the other one's a little bit more of a terrier um but nonetheless they're both pit bulls which is um the dog breed that Nelson and I um, prefer and love. So we do have them and the male is called Axel and the female, she's Rose. So um, it was kind of a fun little thing, <laughs> picking names out. And we thought that was like the coolest little pair. So, um, so that's one of the reasons we've been um, a little MIA because on top of the house build, on top of living in a sm small cottage and, you know, dealing with all of us being home for uh, for the summer, Nelson working full time, having two puppies. We even have one more thing that was added to the plate. What's that, babe? Uh, we're pregnant. We are expecting baby number five. And if the last one was a surprise, this one's more of a miracle. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> So we found out a few months ago that we were pregnant and we are due again um, with another baby girl um, this November. So uh, we were kind of waiting in order to, you know, just pass the first trimester and just make sure that everything was okay because, of course, because of my age, I'm considered high risk. But everything has been going very well. Um, I've just been extremely tired really tired um and to the point where it's been really hard for me to just sit down and edit and um because every day we get up and we are you know um Nelson's either working I'm taking care of the kids as well as the baby we have activities like summer activities and practice and camps and all that stuff in addition to always heading over to the project site because we have to, you know, make sure everything is running smoothly. Um, and we'll have a lot more details on everything that we have kind of been through the past few weeks. Which it has not gone smoothly. Right. And so we've kind of been dealing with things on a real time, you know, uh, just in real time. And it's been very hard to just sit down at the end of the night and put everything together. Sometimes it's been even hard for us to sit down and get in front of the camera because it's been like they're just really long days and so um that's kind of why we've been missing i um i think also <laughs> i think right now we're finally feeling our walls really closing in on us um you know our kids are usually pretty calm go lucky chill you know we 
we don't have any drama or anything like that. But I think the kids are finally really getting on each other's nerves. And sometimes the tensions get, get so high um, just because they're growing and they need their own space. And, you know, then there's the baby, you know, who has a whole other level of stress. And so um, I think I think we're just ready to move into the house and get more space. We can't wait till this project is done yet. There's so much still left to be done. And now Nelson's been kind of heading up everything up until this point. And he's done a really good job of managing. He can tell you more about it. But now is my turn because now it's the design portion. And that has also added another level of, you know, stress and thought and time. Um, just because this is my first time getting together and starting to really think of all the elements and bringing all the rooms together, you know, from where do we need to place the light fixtures to, you know, what kind of flooring are we going to do? Is it all going to be throughout the first floor? Are we going to break it up? Are we going to, you know, what kind of um, wood tones are we using? What kind of cabinets are going in? You know, um, is this going to work with the furniture that we have? You know, and just different details like that. And now I'm really getting into like a very, um, I guess, intricate design aspect of the whole project. And this is something that I've never done before. Well, yeah, because like uh, all of our projects we've had are either been remodel or we've used with whatever is existing. And this is now um, custom home construction. And we, and we got the structure up. And now we have to design everything around the look of the interior of, you know, the way we want it to look. So it, it's it's a blank canvas and it's custom. So, And, and throughout the process, um, I've shared with you guys a little bit. Remember when I shared the floor plans and the small changes and tweaks that we did from the original plans that we purchased? There's been additional... Um, changes to the floor plan. Better, I think, great changes, um, but these are things that we've kind of either stumbled across by accident. There was a mistake that happened um, and we had to fix it or, you know, um, or we realized that by changing something this way, now we're going to have to change an entire floor plan of like, let's say a bathroom. And so I really had to, you know, go in there and just really think, how is this really going to work for us? And so, yeah, we, I've added a few design features that were not included. I've moved a few things around. And I think where we are at right now is, is the best possible scenario for everything um, and, and how it's going to meet our needs. And so, of course, along with us figuring this out mentally and making sure that all this looks good on paper and looks good when we walk through it, there's the day-to-day -day that Nelson has been dealing with as far as contractors and supply issues and timing and, you know, getting all final quotes and, you know, just, just things from like, you know, getting like five different HVAC quotes that say all these different things. And we're getting conflicting information from different contractors and, you know, why they think that, you know, their method is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Closer to 10. Well, okay, fine. 10. But do you, do you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many things at play. And um, and our world for the past three, four weeks has just been go, go, go with absolutely no breaks, no stops, no vacations, <laughs> nothing. And we're just, we're just trying to keep our head above water right now. <laughs> but we're about to crank it up because I have a ton of footage and a ton of different videos that are going to be coming out your way. Um, because now hopefully I can... Now I think we're at a point where we can kind of sit down, relax, and start putting everything together for everyone. Oh, and we're fixing to start putting out like, you know, I'm sure like all the, the people that watch this, the, the really fun stuff. Like the more, like instead of us sitting down, it's the projects progressing through it. And... Um, hopefully we have this great partnership that we're, you know, in the middle of negotiating and if everything goes through, I mean, it's, I think it's going to be, you know, one, one of the, I guess, probably one of the best, most interesting series of videos mm -hmm. we're going to put out. Um, um, we're very excited about it. And again, just because you haven't seen us here doesn't mean we haven't been working really hard behind the scenes to bring you guys some like amazing stuff. Um, 
but yeah, we are going to come back. It's just, there's been a lot of things that have happened in the meantime, and we wanted to come out here and share it with you guys. Our timeline again has just shrunk and we're just, because we only have what, four months left, basically before baby number five comes our way. And, um, and so now we really do have to hurry up and, and, and get this place wrapped up. So if you guys have any questions or anything, just let us know below. Do you want to say anything else, baby? Because I literally have to get back in and start editing videos now. <laughs> no, I guess uh, stay tuned because uh, videos are going to be pumping out. So hopefully we can get on a more regular schedule so we can get like all the viewerships and everything back. So like, again, please like, subscribe, spread the word out because we're fixing to start pumping out like as much I know. content as possible. Because we haven't been sharing, you know, you know, videos, the YouTube algorithm is going to be heavily against us. So um, definitely give our videos a watch. The next one we're going to be talking about as far as a farmhouse update is going to be like the first floor. We're going to walk you through it. We're going to sit in it. We're going to show you guys kind of like the layout and how everything is kind of coming along. So that's going to be really exciting. I think you guys are going to um, really enjoy that one. Stay tuned for that one very soon. We also have a couple of special projects, um, that we have done both here and we did something special at my parents' house. So stay tuned for that. And just, yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming your way. We're coming back. We promise. And we can't wait to share more updates with you guys. So we hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you back very soon until the next one. Adios. Go dogs. I actually probably won't be able to watch much college football this year, but he will find a way. <laughs> I'll set up the TV somewhere in there. He'll <laughs> be playing while you're like, I don't know, tiling or something yeah. in the background. Life is a wonder.